Hello and welcome you all. This is Professor Rajesh Barapte, a book author of 25 plus engineering books. Dear students, if you haven't yet subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel to get the new updates. So without wasting the time, let us start the topic. Today's topic is Thevenin's theorem. I shall be teaching you how to solve numericals using Thevenin's theorem. Basically, Thevenin's theorem is applicable if you have a complicated circuit using Thevenin's theorem. You can compress that circuit so that only one voltage source and only one resistance will remain. Now, the statement of this the Thevenin's theorem is any linear network containing energy sources. Energy sources means current source or voltage source and resistance can be replaced by equivalent network containing voltage source in series with resistance. After simplifying it, after applying uh, Thevenin's theorem, whatever you will get, that will be the simplified circuit containing voltage source. It is denoted by VTH. TH stands for Thevenin. So it is called as Thevenin's equivalent voltage. In series with resistance, that is denoted by RTH, Thevenin's equivalent resistance. Now, what are the steps for solving this numerical? First step is remove the load and calculate VTH. Second, calculate RTH. Third step, draw Thevenin's equivalent diagram. Let us solve few numericals so that this statement will be more clear to you. The problem is obtain Thevenin's equivalent network for the following circuit. This is the given circuit. Already these two terminals are open circuited. Suppose here in the given question, one resistance is mentioned and written as RL. It is called as load resistance. So first step would have been, if this would have been the diagram, first stage is remove this resistance and make it open circuit. Presently it is already open circuited, so I am not making any changes. I am just writing some notation, say AB. In the first step, we have to calculate voltage between open circuited points that means voltage between a b this voltage is denoted by v t h that is Thevenin's equivalent voltage now look at this diagram this is open circuited keep in mind very basic thing whenever any wire is open circuited open it is not connected to the next stage no current flows through it that means due to this open circuit no current is flowing through this 3 ohm resistance. So even if it is connected in the circuit, it's of no use because any current is not flowing through 3 ohm resistance. So I don't need to consider it for calculation of VTH as A and B are open circuited and current is not flowing through this 3 ohm resistance. Now, VTH is voltage between these two points AB. Since it is open circuited, no current is flowing, I can say VTH is same as the voltage between these two points. That means A is same as this point and B is same as the lower point. So ultimately, my aim is to calculate voltage drop across this 3 ohm because this 3 ohm resistance is open circuited. How to do it? To do this calculation, I need to use voltage division formula. See, available voltage is 5 volt. There are two resistors, active resistors. This is of no use two resistors. So some voltage is getting dropped across 6 ohm, remaining voltage is getting dropped across 3 ohm. How to use voltage division formula? What I am interested in? Voltage across any resistance. I need to calculate voltage across 3 ohm. So this voltage just now we discussed is VTH or VAB is equals to supply voltage. What is supply voltage? 5 volt into that resistance into that resistance. That resistance means the resistance across which you are calculating the voltage. So into 3 ohm because I am calculating it across 3 ohm divided by addition of resistances. So it is 6 plus 3. If you solve this, you will get the value of VTH that is 1.67 volt. This is the first step. We calculated value of VTH. Now in the second step, we have to calculate the equivalent resistance. To calculate equivalent resistance, I am considering original circuit. This was 3 ohm. And across these terminals, AB, we have calculated VTH. Now, you are supposed to do the calculation of RTH, that is Thevenin's equivalent resistance from the same point where across which you have calculated VTH. Now, look at the diagram. 
if you are calculating RTH from this point in the diagram, what are the available energy sources? Energy sources means either voltage source or current source. So one voltage source of 5 volt is available. Do remember the simple rule. If you are calculating RTH and available voltage source in the diagram is voltage, available source in the diagram is voltage, then short circuit that source. Simply connect one wire. It is called as a short circuit connection. Now, refer this diagram. This 6 ohm and 3 ohm are in parallel. How you identified it? Very simple trick I will tell you. Many students are getting confused how to consider series and parallel. I will tell you simple tricks. I am talking about 6 ohm and 3 ohm. Just think whether these two, 6 ohm and 3 ohm, two resistors are connected in same wire or different wires. These are two different wires. So since they are in different wires, they are in parallel. So I will write it like this. 6 parallel 3. Now one more important rule. Such type of networks are called as ladder networks. If first combination of resistance, for first calculation, you are considering resistance in parallel, second must be in series, third must be in parallel and so on. It is always alternative. I will repeat, if first combination, this combination I have considered it in parallel, so next will be in series, third will be in parallel and so on. So I have written 6 parallel 3. What is the remaining resistance? 3. Without thinking, directly consider it to be in series with this combination. So I will write it as plus 3. How I did it? Very simple trick. Just first identify, first look at the first type of combination. It is parallel, so second is in series. If there is one more uh, resistance, suppose, then it would have been taken in parallel and so on. So this is the total resistance RTH. Now I have to do this calculation. This parallel combination, how to do it? 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 3. Plus 3, so it is 18 upon 9 plus 3. That is equals to 5 ohm. This is the value of RTS. That is equivalent resistance. This is the second step what we did. In the third step, it's pretty simple. You just have to draw the Thevenin's equivalent diagram. How to draw it? In the first step, we have calculated value of VTH. Denote it like this. VTH. It was 1.67 volt. In series width, draw the resistance. The calculated resistance is RTH and its value is 5 ohm. Mark these two points as point A and B. This is the Thevenin's equivalent network for the given circuit. Let us solve one more numerical so that this concept will be more clear to you. The next numerical is calculate current IL using Thevenin's theorem. The current IL is shown in this diagram. So the current IL is flowing across through 6 ohm resistance. It is so 6 ohm resistance is called as load resistance. Now to start the calculation first step is open circuit is this branch through which IL is flowing. So open circuit means simply remove this 600 ohm mark these points as A, B. I have open circuited it that means I have opened this wire mark the terminals as A, B. Now whatever voltage is there across point A, B denoted by Thevenin's equivalent voltage VTH. Our aim is to calculate VTH using any techniques. Look here, there, this is simple wire, no resistance is there. So VTH will be same as voltage drop between these two points. So I can say that VTH is same as here also. I am getting same point A, this point is same as point B. So if you will calculate voltage between two, two points A, B, it will be same as VTH. How I identified? Because there is no resistance in this wire. So this point A is same as this point, similarly point B is same as this lower point. Now, I will tell you one simple technique. This is a current source of 8 milliamperes. Look at the direction of current. It is an upward direction, so current flows through the circuit like this. I am interested in calculating voltage drop, voltage between two points A and B. Look at 600 ohms. Current is flowing like this. Remember one basic thing. If you have some resistor like this, through which current is passing from say LHS to RHS, then always mark the polarities plus minus because current always flows from higher value to the lower value, higher voltage to the lower voltage. So if direction is from left to right, mark the polarities 
polarity plus at the LHS minus at the RHS. So I will mark the polarity plus minus. Now, how to calculate the voltage uh, drop across 6 ohm? We know the well known formula ohm's law V is equals to IR. V is voltage, I is current, R is resistance. First, I am interested in calculating voltage across 600 ohm. So it is IL, uh, sorry, I that is 8 milliampere. So I will write it as 8 into 10 raised to minus 3. Why 10 raised to minus 3? Because it is given in milliampere. So I need to convert it into amperes by multiplying it with 10 raised to minus 3 into R. R is resistance that is 600 ohm. So if you do this calculation, you will come to know the value of voltage V that is voltage drop across uh, 600 ohm. So it is 4800 into 10 raised to minus 3 that is 4.8 volt. This is the value of voltage drop across 600 ohm. Now, remaining part, look here, this is the voltage which we calculated it as uh, 4.8 volt. I will draw this diagram separately. This voltage is now 4.8 volt with polarities plus minus. Why plus minus? I have already marked this polarity and we have original voltage source of 3 volt like this. Now I will explain you one more important concept. As if these are two voltage sources connected one after other, how to combine it? Very simple technique is, this is the joint, this is the wire which joins the two voltage sources. Look at the polarity at the joint. If there is same polarity, this is same polarity, this is same polarity because both are having negative sign. So if polarity is same, perform subtraction. If suppose this polarity is plus and this is minus, this is opposite polarity, so we would have performed addition. So make the thing simple. If you are joining, if you want to combine the two voltage sources, look at the polarities at the joint. If there is the same polarity as shown in this diagram, perform the subtraction. Very simple rule, subtract lower value from higher value. So simply, I can write this as VTH is equal to 4.8 minus 3 volt that is equal to 1.8 volt. This is the value of VTH. The next step is we have to calculate Thevenin's equivalent uh, resistance. Make the thing simple. Between these two ends, C and B, I have calculated VTH. So from the same points, I will be doing calculation of RTH. RTH is called as Thevenin's equivalent resistance. Now, do remember the simple rules. While calculating RTH, if remaining source in the circuit is voltage source like the first sum, what we did? Short circuit it. And if it is a current source, open circuit it. Only two rules. If remaining source in the circuit is voltage, short circuit it. If it is current, open circuit it. Look at this diagram. This is the original diagram which I am considering. Here, remaining source is the current source of 8 milliampere. Since it is a current source, I need to open circuit it. Open circuit it means just break the wire, remove that uh, particular source. So this is open circuited. This is a voltage source. What I need to do in case of voltage source, just now I explained, remove that voltage source and make a short circuit. So resultant diagram is like this. Very simple. Open circuit the current source, short circuit the voltage source. Look at RTH. I, from this point, I need to calculate RTH. What about this 800 ohm? Make use of the basic concept. 800 ohm is connected like this through this wire and there is an open circuit. Whenever there is an open circuit, current never flows through that resistance. So even if 800 is shown in the diagram, it is of no use because current is not flowing through this, through this 800 ohm as there is an open circuit. Now only one resistance is left in the circuit. Naturally, that is equal to RTH. So simply, I can write RTH is equal to 600 ohm. Students are always making a common mistake. They are taking these two in parallel. No, never. If it is open circuit, no current will flow through this 800 ohm. So keep in mind like this. Remember it like this. If any current is not flowing through any resistance, don't consider that resistance as if it is not connected in the circuit. So RTH is 600 ohm in this uh, case. Now the third step, we have to draw the Thevenin's equivalent diagram. So 
to draw the thevenin's equivalent diagram i need to consider vth value of vth i need to mention so vth is 1.8 volt which we have already calculated here i will draw rth value of rth we have calculated it is 600 ohm now in the first step we have removed the value of rl that removed value of rl was 600 ohm so i have to reconnect that value so it is 600 ohm and current passing through this 600 ohm is denoted by il this is given in the question now using any technique i need to calculate value of this il very simple we have one voltage source in the diagram this is thevenin's equivalent diagram and two resistances one after other so naturally they are in series so you can write the value of il like this available voltage source do remember the basic formula basic ohms law is i is equals to v upon r available voltage source is 1.8 volt i will write 1.8 divided by r r means addition of these two resistance so it is 600 plus 600 ohm do this calculation on the calculator so value of il will be 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 amperes i can well write this as 1.5 milli amperes so this is the final answer dear students i have selected the numericals in such a way that the basic concepts will be more clear to you so thanks for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button thank you very much